Hey Jelly Babes! So I am going to be showing you how I created this chain pull through nail art effect which I absolutely love. So let's get into it. So here are some of the products that you're going to need to use. So obviously a chain has to be one. So this was just one that I got off like a little toy keyring thing. Um, and I'm going to be, and you need like a palette. So I'm actually just using the back of a stamping plate for, for mine. So I was really excited to try this technique because obviously I've seen quite a few ladies create some beautiful nail art. So I did have a go at the thread pulling, but that one wasn't as successful. So I thought I'd have a go at the chain and that was more successful. So I have decided to use a blue base. Normally people are doing this over a white base, obviously because the, show, the colors can show up a little bit more, but I just wanted to do something a bit different. So I'm using this beautiful blue shade from Kiki London. So you wanna make sure that you, when you're applying this, that you're not going right up to your cuticles and flooding your cuticles, or it's going over onto your skin. If that does happen, then just get a clean up brush and um, clean up the mess before you put it in the lamp to dry it if you're using gel polish. So these are the colours that I'm going to be using um, on the chain. So they're all Kiki London. So you've got Yellow Caution, Raving Doll, Me Lava, Acid Green, Neon Prince and Diva. And that is from their Neon collection, which is fabulous. So you just want to put, you know, a little line, get them next to each other like so. Try not to touch the colour before with your brush. Or if you do, wipe it off before you put it back in your bottle. So you, you just get the chain and I sort of rolled it back and forth just to get that colour uh, transferred onto the chain. So another thing that I've seen people use is to use a clear like blooming gel. So that's what I've decided to do. Others use it with their second base colour and they keep that wet, they don't cure it. But I've I decided to do, to do it this way. So you want to pick up your chain, just, sorry, I'm just going to move this out of the way just so it's going to be more in shot to show you what I am doing. Okay, so pick up the chain. It, obviously it was a little bit fiddly with gloves, but you don't have to use gloves, but it, just be prepared for the fact that it might get a bit fiddly and you might not get it absolutely perfect. So I just placed the chain onto the nail and I'm trying to get it to come together. And basically I start to pull it, as you can see here, then when it gets to halfway, I stop pulling and let the, just gravity do its thing and pull it down. So that's how I created this nail. But I, and also as well, I love like how it starts to sort of flare out because you've used that uh, blooming gel. So I would just wait like a minute before you put it in the lamp just to give time for the blooming gel to do what it needs to do. So I clean the chain each time um, just because I don't want the colours to be muddied up um, or to be changed. I want them to keep that brightness. So I just use some nail polish remover and um, put a cotton pad on it and just rubbed it all around until it was all clean or as clean as I can get it. So I will show you how I created each nail that you see, you saw on the thumbnail. Um, this is the type of money where you're not gonna get it to look exactly the same um, every single time, obviously because of the nature of the products that you're using. It's just gonna, and how the chain is pulled and everything, it, you know, even if you think you're doing it the same, you will not get that identical look but it's so fun to create. I don't mind actually with, with some designs anyway whether it doesn't look the same or not and this kind of nail art lends to that anyway. So this was how I found it the best kind of like putting it down the side of the nail. I know others um, do lots of other different pulling techniques but I just wanted to keep it quite simple. So there you go. I just love seeing how the colours are going to blend and how it's going to separate on the blooming gel. 
that always sounds like you're cursing, doesn't it? <laughs> the blooming gel. Um, so there you go, that's how it looks. So, oh, this is such fun. If you've not done it or had a go, um, I su highly suggest that you do. It will break up the coronavirus uh, boredom anyway. Uh, I had such good fun having a go at this uh, nail design. Now, I am going to say the this wasn't my first attempts. It's not... It just takes a while to get used to so I would suggest you have a few practice runs before you try it on your own nail just to kind of get a feel of how the product moves and what you need to do with the chain and how much pressure you should put on um, it's definitely not one of those well not for me anyway where it's just you have a go and it's great from from the very first attempt So with this one, I actually, this was the last one I did, although I'm not showing you it in last in order. And obviously the polish had kind of wore down a little bit more. Um, and I really loved this look. And for some reason I didn't go right to the bottom of the nail. I decided to only do halfway. I don't even think I realised, to be honest. But I just thought this was so beautiful. It kind of looked like petals coming off. And I really liked that um, effect. So that's something else that you could do if you know if you want it more like this. Use very minimal polish. You know, rub it through it a few times. But yeah, I just thought, oh, you can create some beautiful looks uh, using less polish. And this is the last one that I'm gonna be showing you now. It's gone quick, hasn't it? <laughs> So have you tried this? Have you had a go? How successful have you been? I would love to see any recreations that you have done. So you can, if you're on Instagram, you can tag me in on jelly, at Jellylicious. Um, or I do provide a email address in the description box. You can send me a photo that way. Um, it'd just be great to see everybody's sort of designs and um, I will share it on my Instagram story if you're obviously okay with that. I'd, I wouldn't, I'd, you know, get your permission first. So I've come right down to the bottom. I kind of join the chains together and then just hold it. And so it's the same thing, dragging it through. And then once it starts to slide, I let go. I don't know whether that was a good thing or not, or whether I should have dragged it all the way through. But that's just what I chose to do. So obviously with this one, it's got the potential to be messy. So make sure that you clean up and you haven't got a, a, like a gathering of polish right on the side of your nail because that could cause it to chip and lift. So I'm going to go in with a no wipe top coat first, but I actually finished this with a matte top coat. It's what I think looked really nice. So I just wanted, I only added detail on this one nail just because it was smaller than the rest. And like I said, because it reminded me of a flower, I was kind of doing like a little bit of a swirly flower stem. I'm not very good with these freehand type of things, especially with brushes. So, you know, this was kind of the best that I could do. But I just thought it was, it just needed that little bit extra. And then I decided to come um, down the side of each of the stem and just sort of go up. And obviously the dots get smaller and smaller, the less polish that you have, um, just to add that little bit of extra detail. And then I added a few dots um, by the swirls, kind of like representing a bit of pollen. So this is the uh, matte coat, top coat, sorry, that I'm going to be using from Madame Glam. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. It's like super, super matte and it kind of feels a little bit funny as well, almost a bit like rubbery, but, it, you know, it's got good, a good wear on it. And this is the end look. I am so happy with it. It's just so bright. It's so beautiful. Um, we need these cheer cheery manis right now. So please let me know your thoughts on this. If you're new on here, it would be great if you could become a jelly babe and you can do that by clicking that free subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate that. So that is it from me today. Take care, jelly babes. Bye.